I've been riding motorcycles since I was eight years old. It is the greatest. Join me in some of the top racers in the world as we explore the five coolest things about their sport. So the knack knack. It's been copied. It's started a trend of freestyle motocross as it's known today. Um, when was the first time you did it? The first time I ever did the knack knack was at my home practice track. I was hanging out with my friend Eric and I was thinking, man, what can we do that's different? And what the knack knack is, it's, it's a BMX trick. And I kind of stole it and took it over to Supercross. And the first time I ever did it in competition was in Spain, at a Supercross in Spain and the fans went nuts. So that was the first time that I knew, okay, I gotta do this at home. And uh, I got a funny story about it. I, I, was, I was at Orlando Supercross in 94, and my, my dad was there with me, and he'd never seen it because he, he was working always when I was doing it at home. So he was at the Supercross, and the first time I did it, he fell off his seat because he thought I was flying off the bike. And he was so mad at me when he got back to the pits. He's like, what are you doing? And, uh, so, but he got used to it. And why is it called the Knack Knack? It's, it's really the reverse of can-can. And a can-can is when you go up in the air and you put your leg, your one leg, through the front. Okay. Okay, so the Knack Knack's back, opposite of that, right. so you put your leg around the back. Okay, but that makes sense. It makes sense, but I don't know where the Knack Knack part right. came from. Exactly, and they eat it up. Oh, yeah. The flash bulb in the place just turns white yeah. for a second. <laughs> Number two would be jumping the triples. That's the biggest jump on the Supercross track where you get the most air. What's going on through you as you're coming out of a berm and you have an average of, what would you say the average? Out of a big U-turn berm and then the takeoff face is how far away? You usually have probably 40, 50 feet, which a lot of people think like 40, 50 feet, how are you gonna jump 60 or 70 feet? You know? and, and to me and to most of the riders, it's a lot easier to have a section before it or a turn because then you can nail it. If you have a straightaway before it, it becomes difficult because then, then it's really hard to judge. Wow. Uh, uh, that's good to know. I wouldn't yeah. imagine that. I would think it's easier not to deal with the corner. Yeah. Just nice, mellow. But, but then if you, you imagine it and fast. you come around a corner and you have a certain space where you're in second gear, you can go ahead and go get on it because you're only going to jump about 60, 70 feet. So it helps with your timing. He's copying every move McGrath makes. So if McGrath goes to the lead, Huffman's going to be there too. Here comes Jeremy. Now I saw. I forget how long ago it was, I went to a Supercross at Anaheim, and you got a bad start, and as you were making the pass for the lead, it was in the air, going over the triple. I forget who it was that you went by. Larry Ward. And did a knack-knack and look back at him as you were making the pass for the lead, and it was, I just, that was the coolest <laughs> thing I'd ever seen anyone do on a bike. Yeah, uh, I remember that race. That was, I think that was a 95 season, and I got a bad start that night, and I was coming through the pack, and at that time I was—I had won two championships already, so I was yeah. dominating pretty the man, good. Man, just kill him. And I, so I was confident, and, and I got a bad start, and I, I was coming up through the through the pack, and I got to the front, and and I was passing Larry Ward, and I don't know what came over me because it was just like a natural reaction. I mean, after the race, I couldn't believe that I did that. I mean, doing a knack knack passing for the lead on the tenth lap. I mean, when just we had ten it. more laps to go, I was yeah. like. Oh, it was rad. It, it, was, it was it was really cool afterwards because I pulled it off and I and I won the race. But I was a little like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. Well, it would have sucked if you crashed doing yeah. it there. <laughs> Going yeah, into the lead, sure. does a knack knack, and Luke yeah. throws it away. But yeah. no, no, that didn't yeah. happen that way. No. So that's why it was a cool move. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah.